Hello, Mr. Wallen. I'm going to be giving my report on the history of technology since the creation of the Internet now. I hope you have time to grade it before grades are due tomorrow morning. We first provide a brief introduction to the birth of the Internet. The ARPANET, or Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, was created in 1963 and was the world's first network to implement TCP slash IP, which stands for Transmission Control Protocol slash Internet Protocol. TCP slash IP is simply a suite of communications used to connect hosts on the Internet. The Internet is related to nearly all technology used today. The Internet, as most of us know it, came into existence in the 1980s, just before the World Wide Web was created. Imagine, just a few years ago, the Space Shuttle and Pac-Man were just created, there were no cell phones, CDs or DVDs, no email, game consoles, search engines, or personal GPS systems. And this is only the start of the list. Words like techno, Wi-Fi, sound card, portal, homepage, blog, app, Google, wiki, emoticon, and World Wide Web were not known by anyone. The World Wide Web, or the web as it's known by most people, is often mistaken for a synonym of the Internet itself, but the web service that operates over the Internet like something that email would do. As you now know, the history of the Internet is much older than that of the World Wide Web, but since the invention of the first web browser, technology has advanced faster than in any other time in history. The web was initially used mostly by university-based scientific departments or physics laboratories. In 1993, there were less than 50 Internet service providers in the entire world. By mid-1995, there were thousands, and by 1996, Internet service providers, a.k.a. ISPs, were popping up all over America, which allowed individuals and companies to interact with a graphical interface on their computer. However, the web that we know today, with super-fast broadband connections, is far from what early adopters of the Internet had to deal with. Up until the turn of the 21st century, most people connected to the Internet at speeds of only 28.8 kilobits per second. To give you an idea of how slow that is, a file that took 778 hours to download in 1997 can be loaded in about 21 minutes now. And when the Internet speeds picked up, more people began accessing the web on phones instead of on the computer. Which brings us to my next topic, mobile phones. While the mobile phone was technically invented in the 1940s, it wasn't until the 1990s when digital cellular networks came into existence that cell phones became reliable, affordable, and popular. Starting with a bag phone, a cumbersome phone too large to carry in one hand, so it needed a bag to hold its large battery, transmitter, and receiver, and the brick phone, a giant phone that looks like two bricks stacked upon each other with an antenna sticking out, it became possible to take a phone with you when you traveled. But through technological advancements in electronics and batteries, the size of phones came down and popularity rose. By 1994, the cell phone was small enough to fit in one's pocket. This went hand-in-hand with SMS or text messaging capabilities. Texting, as it was known, was a hit among young people because it was much less expensive to send a text than it was to make a phone call. At first, texting was called the poor man's email, but within a couple of years, it became popular across all age and economic groups. But, if the cell phone was life-enhancing, then the smartphone was life-changing. The early smartphones were simply phones that included a personal digital assistant, or PDA for short. Are fine for taking notes using a stylus and doing math using a built-in calculator, and later providing primitive versions of the World Wide Web. It wasn't until 2007 when Apple introduced the iPhone with its multi-touch interface that the world was changed forever. It came with a large touch screen using your finger as its main means of interaction, instead of a stylus, keyboard, and or keypad as typical smartphones at the time had. It offered a music player, a mapping system, advanced camera, stock ticker, and weather application. But, its best feature was the ability to display full web pages that could be seen just as you would view them on a computer. Since the iPhone's original release, virtually every mobile phone company has copied the iPhone's look, display, and feature set in nearly every aspect. The breakthrough Apple made in technology, paired with their decision to allow software developers to create applications for the iPhone, has enabled people globally to do everything from banking online, booking air travel, hotel and restaurant reservations, face-to-face video chatting, still on video photography with quality that rivals high-end cameras of just a few years earlier, turn-by-turn GPS navigation, and thousands of other offerings. This is one area of technology that has dramatically changed the world in less than 10 years. However, the smartest phone in the world would do little more than make regional calls and basic math without the internet.
The web made it smart, and it gets smarter every day, just like every other part of our lives. The internet makes nearly every task easier to accomplish, either through the capability of instant research, shopping, and price comparison, or tailor-made news and sports from around the world in mere seconds. But the single most important innovation since the internet was created has to be instant chatting communication via global phone calls, email and messaging, and video chatting. Imagine a soldier in Afghanistan with a wife at home in Tennessee in labor with her first child. He's talking and coaching his wife with a video chat like Skype or FaceTime. A few minutes later, his brand new son is born and he gets to see it almost as if he were there. That kind of technology is nothing short of life-changing. Now, it is possible to receive news about something across the world in mere seconds after it happens. This is the wonder of technology. I hope you enjoyed this report, and I hope you have a great Christmas break. I will see you next year.